Hi, beautiful. Oh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Manette and I am your pro MUA big sis. This channel is a little bit about everything that I like, but that's mostly makeup. <laughs> It's mostly makeup. It's mostly beauty all that good stuff But today we have a vlog a makeup artist vlog where we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, What it's like to be a makeup artist like a weekend in the life of a bridal makeup artist because that's what I specialize in I just want to make a quick disclaimer though that I I'm not I'm not true to this vlogging stuff yet. I am new to it, okay? So please be patient with me. I think I said that in the last vlog, but then the last vlog was like five months ago. So, you know, the practice hasn't really been practicing. I gotta remember to vlog. I've done so many things and then I've forgotten to like bust the camera out and record it. I I'm learning, be patient with me. Give me some feedback. Let me know what kind of vlogging styles you guys like. One thing about me though, is that I'm not gonna sit there and fake the funk for social media. If something looks messy, it's gonna look messy. It, not everything has to be perfectly aesthetic every time. I love everything to look perfect and aesthetic, but I just I just refuse to let it hold me back anymore. But anyways, it's about 6.50, right? And it's my first time talking to the camera, even though I have been recording bits and pieces of my day. Because again, I'm not used to sitting there like, hi guys, you know, what's up? I'm here, I'm doing this. But you know, I'll get used to it. I'll get used to it, I'm trying. Today is Thursday and I have two weddings this weekend, Friday and Saturday. One of the weddings I'm not gonna be able to record at uh, because it was just, you know, the bride's wishes. She doesn't wish to be recorded or to be put on social media, but I'm gonna still talk to you about my day. I'm gonna run you through how that goes. Um, I might record myself like setting up, just not gonna get anybody in the background um, and things like that. So right now, today I've been doing a lot of different like makeup artists little errands not outside the house but like things that I have to do and then also prepping for the wedding tomorrow so I'm gonna just walk you through that show you a little bit what um all of that consists of so yeah let's get let's get it going because if not I'm gonna be here talking for 25 years okay So I had to take a break from doing all this kid stuff because I had to have dinner. I also went and finished cleaning some brushes, washing some brushes because I want to have some fresh sets for Saturday. So I have some clean sets already for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I had a bunch. I had I think maybe like four sets that were dirty that I had to wash. So I washed those so that then I could like do the switch over. Anyways, I had to finish that. Um clean some other things like stainless steel palettes and then i prepared my breakfast for tomorrow morning some overnight oats that i eat i'm gonna be hungry in the morning and i usually go like the whole wedding time without eating anything so i like to have a really good breakfast something that's gonna hold me over until i come back home and i'm gonna finish cleaning and putting everything back in my kit it's not a lot it should be done quick i'm trying to move quickly because i'm trying to go sleep early i have to wake up really early I also do have to make sure that my hair kit is prepped because I'm doing hair tomorrow as well. So um, let me get to that.
If you ask me what compelled me to try these KISS Falscara Lash Extension theme bobbers 10 minutes before I had to leave to go work a wedding at 6 o'clock in the morning, the answer is I don't know. KISS sent me these a while ago and I just didn't have a chance to try them and I figured what better time to try these out than when I don't have time. You know, I could be very aesthetic and I could try really hard to be super aesthetic in these videos, but I just gotta keep it real with you. But my eyeballs were about to pop out of my head the way I was opening my eyes. Anyways, I didn't really read the instructions, but I did go off of memory of all of the videos that I've seen of people doing it. So I applied the bond first and that joint was like really, really sticky, but it's okay. I kind of worked through it. My tweezers got a little stuck every now and then. But you do the bond, you apply the lashes. Looking back, I should have applied the one in the inner corner, but I wasn't in the mood to like potentially poke my eye out right before I had to work a wedding. Look at the difference. It's a nice subtle difference. I do have really big eyeballs, so I feel like these just aren't long enough for me to make a big difference, but they're definitely very cute to start. And then I applied the seal and that's when I felt like the stickiness started going away. I felt like the stickiness didn't go away enough because I probably didn't put enough. I also didn't do the overnight so these only lasted me like for the day. But it was kind of cute. I think I'm going to give them another chance. Good morning beautiful. I am on my way out. It's 6.33. It's about 15 minutes away so I want to give myself about 25 minutes to get there. So I gotta go like right now. But yeah I got ready in like maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It took me longer because I... Did some false care. I don't know what I was thinking my first time doing it too, so I don't even know if I did it right. But we'll see about that later. Just did a little bit of concealer, a little bit of blush, a little bit of lip balm. I'm gonna take my overnight oats to go. And yeah, I'm gonna have a great day. I'm gonna share a little bit of my setup. I'll talk to you later. I think you guys just both don't know him very well. I, I, I know. Him. Him. I know. What now? Oh, you know him after two months? Paul is like so smart. He's so funny. He's so cute. He is so epic. Oh, <laughs> Jason, let me Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not feeling you're kidding like to me about the world, about people. Paul means all those things. He's the most talented man I've ever met. Did you uh Take you where we stay. Take you to the beach and all that sand. You can lay us. Seriously, the luckiest girl on earth, you know? I've never met somebody in my life that I wanted to be with more than you. Yesterday was a Friday wedding. So I Ubered to the location, but today I'm getting dropped off because 
Saturday and my boyfriend is off and he always takes me to weddings whenever he's able to. You see, a little bit of spot concealing and a little bit of blush does so much. Alright, I gotta go. I will catch you guys up on everything else when I come back. And yeah, this lip liner isn't dark enough, but I have one in my little purse that I'm gonna fix on the car. Talk to you later. I just wanted to say good morning and I wanted to call you before you had to go to work but I love you so much and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. First time I met you Didn't have a clue Try not to be offended. As it never
river gets malicious. Most importantly, Mike, as they affectionately call him, will never get <laughs> Hello, this is Editing Seminette and I've looked everywhere and I cannot find my outro and I'm annoyed because my outro was cute and it was like, I looked kind of like this. This is, you know, this is real life. I had better lighting and I said what I wanted to say and it came out so nice, but whatever. Basically, what I was updating you on was about what I did on Sunday. On Sunday, I slept in, and then what you saw that I was working on the timelines, that's what I did. I finalized my timelines for the rest of the weddings that I have this week, and just like figured out some final details, answered some emails, and then I rested the rest of the evening. I didn't want to go to Ulta and Dick's Sporting Goods, but I couldn't because it was Easter and it closed early, so by the time I noticed, it was too late. But that was pretty much it. That's all I wanted to tell you in the outro. I just didn't want to leave you guys hanging, you know what I mean? But also, I just want to remind you that if you are a makeup artist, aspiring makeup artist, just know that some weeks are better than others, some months are better than others. If you don't feel like you're as booked as you want to be, don't worry about it. You will get there as long as you keep pushing, you keep hustling, you keep working on your craft, you keep working on your business, you will get there. It took me a while to get to the point where I am now. I've been doing this for 10 years and I'm still not exactly where I want to be. I still feel like there's room for improvement. So just don't, don't beat yourself up. Don't be too hard on yourself. Be kind to yourself and just, you know, stay in your lane and focus on your goal. If you made it to the end of the vlog, thank you so much. It means a lot that you guys would even, you know, watch and be interested in what I got going on. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you so much. Don't forget to love yourself. And remember that it's not about what is on you, it's about what is in you. I'll see you in my next video.